Our topic today is all about leading and managing learning institution towards quality and excellence. So uh, who lead and manage in the learning institution? The manager in the learning institution is the principal and she is also the leader of the learning institution. Aside from he, uh, aside from the principal, um, the teachers are also um, the leader of um, of the students or the le or the learners. Um, the objectives in this presentation is are to enumerate and explain the school leadership and management styles, enumerate and explain the five key responsibilities. The school principal as leader, guiding schools to better teaching and learning. Leading to learn school leadership and management styles. We have two management styles. One is the instructional leadership style and number two the administrative leadership style. Under the instructional leadership style are management school goals, instructional management, direct supervision of instruction in the school, and under the administrative leadership style are accountable management and bureaucratic management. So let's start with number one, the management for school goals. Um, this one states state uh, says that ex, uh, it is explicit management via the school's goals and curriculum development it means the principals take actions to manage schooling operations in accordance with the school goals the principal is the one who will manage or operate in the school system Principal ensures that teachers' instruction in classrooms aims to achieve these goals. Use student performance levels and examination results to set goals and promote curricular development. Make sure that teachers' professional development activities are aligned with school goals and curricular activities. Number two is instructional management it is an actions to improve teachers instruction um, the principals work with teachers to improve weaknesses and address pedagogical problems and also to solve problems with teachers when there are challenges to learning in a particular classroom so uh, the principal is actually the is also um, is also the instructional leader of the school. Um, they spend significant amounts of their managerial time in attempting to improve classroom instruction. An effective principal evaluates the performance or the teaching strategies of the um, teachers and he is he or she will give an evaluation to improve the teaching strategies of his or her subordinates. Number three, direct supervision of instruction in the school. It is an action to directly supervise teachers instruction and learning outcomes. The principals use direct observation of teachers pedagogical practices and also make frequent suggestions to teachers on how to improve instruction in classroom. They frequently monitor students' academic efforts and work. An effective principal supervises their, their subordinates to improve their teaching strategies, to develop their self-confidence their effectivity in teaching and motivate them to use effective strategies, teaching strategies to their learners. For accountable management, 
It is managing accountability to shareholders and others. Their rule is to ensure that ministry-approved instructional approaches are explained to new teachers and that all teachers are held accountable for improving their teaching skills. These principles also focus on convincing students, parents of the need for new ideas and procedures at the school. The last one is the bureaucratic management. It is the management actions mostly aimed at bureaucratic procedures. The principal ensures that everyone in the school follows the official rules. What are these official rules? 1. The attendance. 2. Correct log in and log out in the school. And submitting deliverables or reports. They see their rule as being significantly involved in dealing with problems in the scheduling of teachers and in ensuring adequate administrative procedures and reporting to higher authorities. We have five key responsibilities. The school principal as leader, guiding schools to better teaching and learning. First, shaping a vision of academic success for all students. Researchers who have examined education leadership agree that effective principals are responsible for establishing a school-wide vision of commitment to high standards and the success of all students. Implementing the school vision is a continuous process that involves all stakeholders. The principal's responsibility is to, communic is to communicate, inspire, and invest stakeholders in the vision as well as to the as well as to create systems that support vision implementation to creating a climate hospitable to education effective principles ensure that their schools allow both adults and children to put learning at the center of their daily activities such a healthy school environment character characterized by basic life safety and our dirtiness, as well as tangible qualities such as a supportive, responsive attitude toward the children and a sense by teachers that they are part of a community of professionals focused on good instruction. Principals play or create a culture in which students are known cared for, for and respected as individuals. A school should be open to people and their ideas. 3. Cultivating leadership in others. Principals play a major role in developing a professional community of teachers who guide one another in improving instructions. When principals and teachers share leadership teachers working relationship with one another are stronger and student achievement is higher so it is very important that a principal must build or a principal should build a good relationship with with her subordinates in order that they can work together in achieving the vision of the of their learning institution for improving instruction, effective principals work re relentlessly to improve achievements by focusing on the quality of instruction. Leaders must become intimately familiar with the technical core of schooling what is required to improve the quality of teaching and learning. Um, principal is also the instructional leader of, the, of his or her subordinates. 5. Managing people, data, and processes. In the great scheme of things, noted one researcher's report, schools may be relatively small organizations, but their leadership challenges are far from small or simple. Effective leaders need to make good use of the resources at hand. In other words, they have to be good managers. 
When it comes to data, effective principles try to the most from statistics and evidence, having learned to ask useful questions of the information to display it in ways that tell compelling stories and to use it to promote collaborative inquiry among teachers. So, for processes, there are six case steps or processes that the effective principal takes carrying out his or her leadership responsibilities. One, planning. Two, implementing. Three, supporting. Four, advocating. Five, communicating. And six, monitoring. So that's all for the PPT or the PowerPoint presentation for the managing and leading in the learning institution.